Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan, Dan, the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 62, Looking for Alaska, by John Green. This is the second book I've read by John Green and the first one he had published. It was a huge change of pace from the books I usually read, which are often science fiction adventures or fat epic fantasy novels. I love this book for its differences. It was very literary and at the same time portrays a very realistic and frank rendering of high school age teenagers. There's a lot of cursing and drinking and smoking, and a lot of thoughtful, witty dialogue between smart, funny characters. It was a simple story, with a lot of complex emotions going on, which made it fun and rewarding to read. Some very deep things are contemplated in this story, and some very realistic teenage drama is there too. It's about a kid who transfers from a normal high school to a prep school. He moves away from home and lives at this school, changing from a life devoid of friends to a life full of smart, interesting people. They influence him a lot, and he changes a great deal by the end of the book. You could call this a bit of a coming-of-age story, though it's about much more than that. So, that's the simple story, but in that story are all the messy emotions and thoughts of teenagers. The way the main character... His friends and enemies see the world is ever-expanding and changing. The things the characters deal with leave them trying to find truths to cling to in an uncertain world. Without spoiling anything, I'll just say that the characters have to deal with a tragedy that is very close to home. The story doesn't follow a path you would expect. I loved how this young adult story was told in first person. You get to know the main character so well. He blossoms as a person through the course of this story. At the beginning, he's kind of like plain vanilla, and by the end, he is one of the most fully rendered characters I have ever had the pleasure to read, and the same goes with his friends. As I'm trying to think about this unique story, I'm realizing how much of an enigma it seems to be to me. It's a very small story, and yet, It's a very big story. It's about a handful of characters making their way through the school year where they live together at a prep school. The things that go on emotionally with these characters is huge, and I think the fact that they're teenagers turns that emotional dial to 11. So you get to know these characters really well, and then when something small happens to them, it's a huge deal. Then when something really huge happens, the story is not over, and you get to see how they deal with a massive event that anyone, no matter what age, would have a really hard time dealing with. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to spoil any of the story. There were many pranks and antics in the story, and those scenes were really some of the most fun. Seeing the planning that went down and how they either pulled it off or not, no spoilers, One other funny thing about this book was that all the characters are much smarter than your average teenager, and yet they smoke and drink and do things you wouldn't want your teenagers to do. This juxtaposition was kind of weird and funny, but it worked. A character reads through an almanac, memorizing facts while drinking and smoking in his dorm room. They're people with interesting and surprisingly profound things to say, and at the same time they're sneaking off to smoke and drink. So they're kind of like Ivy League troublemakers. I don't know, it was just an interesting part of the story. So, yeah, it's a main character making new friends away from home for the first time, living at a prep school. He and his new close friends experience a huge event and have to figure out how to try and deal with it. It's devastating. Even when they were just becoming friends and going to class and sneaking off to smoke, I was into the story the whole time. John Green has a great writing style. 
And there were so many amazing lines in this book that made me nod my head in appreciation of his writing chops. One of my favorite lines was, So I walked back to my room and collapsed on the bottom bunk, thinking that if people were rain, I was a drizzle and she was a hurricane. I can't wait to read John's other books. I've already read The Fault in Our Stars and loved it. I'm glad I still have more books of his to read for the first time. If the two books I've read so far are any indication, then I'm sure I'm in for something real, impactful, and awesome. I have something awesome for you guys, the listeners of this podcast. Audible sponsors this podcast, and so if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free audiobook. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice, and they have pretty much all of the books that you'd be looking for. But I'm going to recommend this week Looking for Alaska by John Green. It's narrated by Jeff Woodman, and it's only like 7 hours and 11 minutes long, so you can get through it quickly, but I'm telling you, you're going to be um, thinking about it when you're not listening to it. It's just kind of a story that you sink right into. So just go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, and you get a free audiobook, any of your choice, and a 30-day free trial of their awesome membership. I am a member of Audible, and I love it. Uh, it's how I get most of my reading done, by listening to audiobooks while I commute for almost two hours a day. So check it out. Check out Looking for Alaska for free. And if you do, you're helping support this show. So thanks to Audible, and thanks to you. Now, let's get back to that review. Man, this book was amazing. I'm thinking about one of my other favorite books, which is funny because I love sci-fi and fantasy adventures, but The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie is a coming-of-age story, and it's very autobiographical to the author's life. And uh, I found out later that Looking for Alaska is pretty autobiographical, for John Green. He went to a kind of a prep school. They did some of the same kind of pranks. Um, so he drew from his actual childhood and growing up, or I guess almost young adulthood, you could say, uh, to write this book. And it just comes off as so authentic. Even though it's a work of fiction, uh, you really do feel like you know the characters when, you've, when you're done reading it and uh, got to hang out with them at their prep school. It was just really fun, a really fun listen or read. And uh, so I highly recommend checking it out. It's a much longer review than I usually leave. So I think that's about all I've got for you guys this week. But um, before I let you go, I just wanted to share some awesome news. I've been writing a novel called Haunted House Flipper. And it's about a guy who finds some magical tools that he can use to get ghosts to leave houses. And actually, it turns out that they're demons because there's no such things as, as ghosts. But fallen angels, and angels have swords, and one of the magical items he has is a sword, so if he sword fights with these fallen angels or demons, people think that they're ghosts, he can get these evil spirits to leave the house. So then he wants to start finding haunted houses that no one else will buy because they're haunted, buying them super cheap, renovating them, and then selling them for a huge profit. But along the way, he has all kinds of misadventures, so... I just finished the first draft, and part of what helped me do that was writing every day in the last couple months. So it helped me to really finish the first draft of that novel. I'm only about in the chapter 7 of 50 of revising it right now, but pretty soon I'll be getting it out to beta readers and making more edits from their feedback and from some editors, hopefully, and then I will be putting it up for sale. So I'll let you know more about that, but I'm really excited. It's a nice short read. It's like almost 60,000 words, so it's a pretty short novel, which is what I was going for, and it's really fun. Haunted House Flipper and uh, Demon Fighting Realtor, so <laughs> kind of a goofy uh, different couple ideas that I mixed together, and I had a lot of fun writing it. I think you guys will have a lot of fun reading it. So anyway, be on the lookout for that in the next few months, hopefully, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks for uh, hanging out, and I hope that you're having a great year of reading. Talk to you next time. Mike, take it away.
This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.